Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's the 30th of January today, one more day of January to go and guess what? My scroller box just arrived. I'm very excited, I hope it's worth the wait, it usually is. Um, without further waffling on from me, because that's not what you're here for, <laughs> let's get inside. So for anybody who doesn't know, this is a monthly art supply box. It's a complete, complete mystery what you can, what you're going to get. Um, once I heard that some people had already started to get theirs, I had to avoid social media because I didn't want to see any spoilers. Because <laughs> part of the fun of it for me is the surprise of opening the box and finding out what's inside. Um, but all the contents are created, curated to work together well and. Um, they do tend to get you to try different things you might not have tried before. I think they're a lovely, they're really fun for someone who's already got a lot of stuff like me. <laughs> but they're equally good for um, a complete newbie who just wants to get into um, making art. Because everything you need to get started will be in this box. I think it's 18 95 a month at the moment. But it's cheaper if you do a year subscription. Can't tell you the details. I will leave a link below. If you're interested in subscribing to Scholar Box, you can um you can use that link and get three pounds off and and also get me some scholar points so um bear that in mind if you're interested in getting a box for yourself or as a gift for a friend okay let's shut up now and get into it shall we i love that it's so easy to open <laughs> let's have a look. it feels kind of uh it's pretty bulky actually it's something pretty solid there and quite weighty, so. Hmm. Oh, that's why it felt so solid and bulky. Nice. We've got um. Well, you always get some kind of a surface to work on, and um, it might be a pad. Like I think I've got last month's. It's, no, it's not last month's. It's a different months. You know, you get like a little A5 pad of paper, or occasionally we've had like artboard or we had canvas paper I can't remember but you'll always get something to work on um but we haven't had a little book for ages so that's really nice I won't open it just yet I will go in in a minute here's the main bulk of the supplies and you always get a scroller zine <laughs> it's a different looking one. Oh, I love this so there's always a featured artist and um and they will have created a piece using um, the supplies in the box or certainly inspired by the supplies in the box um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I'll probably say it wrong I don't want to insult anybody by pronouncing it wrong but there's their um, Instagram handle there based in China I love that really 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 like that okay still not quite sure what we're going to find inside it looks like a mixture of things doesn't it hmm so let's have it let's open this up let's get the box out of the way while i have got the box here logo here trees for the future for every we're committed to giving back to the planet for every box sold we will plant one tree that's brilliant isn't it put that out of the way for now i'm gonna go in and have a look at this properly it looks like it's got like a wraparound cover doesn't it oh it's in a box oh that's nice it's a little concert that is that's amazing because my lovely friend gabby um gabby chic dolls here on youtube sent me a beautiful gift um just before christmas uh there were some pens and things as well but this is amazing and i think that was sea white as well concertina sketchbook it was a bigger one than this but oh that is i love i love this I always struggle a little bit to work on just the A5 size, but fair enough, there's only there's a limit to what they can put in the box. So quite often I end up sticking two or three sheets together or working actually on the box or creating some 3D scene or something to give me more scope. But this, a perfect way to... <gasps> lovely! Very excited about that. And a beautiful box to keep it in. <gasps> it's going to be quite hard to make myself use that. I usually do my swatching on the whatever surface is supplied in the box but I think in this case I'm probably gonna use something else because I don't want, I don't want to spoil it <laughs> anyway let's see what's in, in here it 
to shut the day. <laughs> this is the challenge. There's always, I call this the menu card. It's got some details about what's inside and the scorner challenge. And if you hashtag them, they, they'll, be able to, they'll be able to find you and have a look and you might get, you might get featured. You might get featured in the next month's magazine or on one of them in their stories on Instagram. It's always nice to see, see your own work or other people you know pop up. <laughs> and you always get a little sticker as well. So, but this is the main, um, this is the exciting part always. Ooh. Oh, there's always a sweetie. I shouldn't, I shouldn't eat these, but. <laughs> so this is so B2P Eco Ball Pilot. Pilot's a good make, right? Better with less. Oh, it looks like they've used recycled bottles to make, so three recycled bottles makes a pen. That's brilliant. I love that. It kind of looks like a bottle, doesn't it? Even down to having the, the this, it looks like the lids of the bottles. Maybe they recycle the lids of the bottles for that. 86, but I guess that means 86% recycled. Yeah, 86% recycled plastic, mainly from bottles. I wonder if it is the tops they use for this. I'm oh, very impressed with that. And you can, by the way, oh, I noticed they mentioned TerraCycle. If you didn't know, TerraCycle's a company that you can recycle all sorts of really difficult things through them, even like used coffee pods and things. Um, but there has to be a collection point near you. I'm going to start campaigning with my local supermarket to have one for the coffee pods, actually. But you'll find some art shops will collect up empty pens. So when your pens, pens run out, don't, don't put it in the rubbish. Have a look around your local art shop might do it um, or find it or look on TerraCycle for a local collection point and um, they actually will take these, take the empty pens and it looks like, yeah, Pilot are working in conjunction with them. So they get some of the big companies like you can, you if, if you've got a collection point new, you can take your empty crisp packets, for example. Walkers, I think, are one of the, there are probably others, but Walkers jump, come to mind. One of the companies that work with them, so they help to fund it. Um, and recycle the packaging that they're creating so brilliant I'm very very much in favour of that I love it I just love how it actually still looks like a water bottle <laughs> because we have, when I was growing up we didn't have water bottles yeah when I was growing we, did, we didn't you didn't have bottled water it wasn't a thing at all um, and now everybody's drinking bottled water all the time I mean it might taste a bit better, but there's nothing much wrong with what comes out of the tap, to be honest. Um, but yeah, somehow it's become a thing that we must have bottled water, and so it's creating a hell of a lot more uh, waste. Anyway, let's, let's get on with this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, what's this pen? Um, Derwent Blender Pen. Ooh. So this is going to have some kind of clear liquid in it that will probably work with these to blend oh that is exciting to try so this is derwent they do have a lot of derwent products in uh, scholar it's nice because they're made in the uk um they're not actually that far away from me fine art pencils the colored pencils they look nice i love derwent, pen derwent pencils are always good i've got lots of different derwent products and of course they make ink tents, one of my very favourite um, art supplies, ink tents. So what have we got? Light Violet, Pale Peach, Madder Carmine, Silver Grey, Gunmetal, Oriental Blue. It's a nice interesting colour palette isn't it? So I'm assuming we're going to be able to blend them with this but there'll be more information inside the booklet so let's have a look at the zine. Let's see if there's anybody I know. That, oh, I know there's someone. <laughs> I know there's someone I know this month. <laughs> it makes it more exciting. <laughs> okay. So, this first page always has the contents and a quick uh, buttery soft wax based pencils, which means they blend and layer with ease. The alcohol based blender pen allows you to create seamless transitions with your pencils. I'm dying to try this. Constantina's sketchbook. Very excited about that. Yeah, so as they say, you could just use it as a, you know, one page at a time, or you can, uh, you could do a long story on it, couldn't you? Or one of the things I like to do is to cut holes so you can peek through to, to another page. I might try that. 
line work, a blue outline, give your work a different vibe. Thick leads. These pencils have a thicker lead for broader strokes and expressive mark making. Ooh, do they? They're good. They look like they are, they're the same. The wood is the same diameter though, so we'll be able to use a normal sharpener. Otherwise, they, they're pretty good if you need a specific sharpener. They tend to put sharpener in. There's no uh, sort of ordinary plain graphite pencil this time or rubber or or eraser or sharpener or anything. I'm quite happy about that because I've got so many of those things. Um, but I can see where they do quite often because they want they want the box to contain everything you need. Oh, I need a sip of coffee. I'm still a bit croaky from my lurgy that I had. Featured artist. Can't really see her there because her face is all blurred out. That's always interesting to see how. I love that. I love the idea of something I've been wanting to start doing is keeping a kind of a, a daily journal. I think it's nice to do as a travel journal as well, but I don't travel these days, but um, just a daily journal of what's going on around you. I noticed that the challenge is dish of the day. So maybe I could journal what I'm eating every day. That might be fun. Things to try, mark making, specifically scumbling, a fun tip. Just as much fun to say. <laughs> scumbling is where you apply little marks to the pages, small scribbles gradually building to cover all of the paper in these little marks. Build texture and intensity. Mm -hmm. Use some sandpaper to sand off some of the lead into a pot. That's interesting. You can then use the pigment powder to brush or smudge onto your work. Mm -hmm. I've done that with um, graphite quite a lot. Wax base, a bit softer and easier to blend. Get crafty. Two fun ways to use a craft knife with your pencil work. Add in the areas you know you want to keep white for highlights and details by indenting your knife into the page before you start any pencil work. The pencil pigment won't go in to the dents so the lines you've created should stay nice and bright. Oh, that's interesting. Or on top, scratch back into your work once you've finished. Gently scrape off the pencil layers to add finer details. Okay, I will try all these things. So behind this artwork, which I love, this is the artist now talking. This piece is from one of my daily drawing projects. Um, I drew all different kinds of food every day using coloured pencils. The organic feeling of the coloured pencils and hand drawings bring fresh feelings of food to the paper. <laughs> Draw like a child and don't think about any techniques. Good advice. Okay, the... Um, gallery is always one of my favourite bits. I love seeing what everybody did. They're all the different results from the same supplies in the same prompt. But I get extra excited when someone I know is featured. And my friend Zoe is here this time. Isn't that brilliant? She's so good. <laughs> She's so good. It's lovely to see her featured there. And there's lots of other brilliant ones as well. I remember seeing these at the time. Now, is there anybody else? Yeah, I recognise a lot of these names I recognise. Oh, Emily's there as well. Little illustrations. Emily's there too. Brilliant! So that's two good friends about, and look, I mean everything, all of them. Jen Edwards, I think I follow her on. I haven't seen this name before, or this name before. I love both of those. I mean, they're all, look, they're all brilliant, aren't they? Nick Chamberlain, another brilliant, um, another brilliant gallery there. Well, this was all, this box was all graphite, different kinds of graphite. Um, graphite and pastel. I found that I couldn't use the graphite and the pastel together very well. I wasn't very good at that, but... Uh, the scholar challenge was leading light, catch the delicate balance of light and dark. And they gave us lots of different kinds of graphite and pastel tools. You could get a good range of tones and marks with it. So yeah, yeah, very impressive gallery, I would say. Look at the hands there. Hands are so awful to do, but this person obviously has cracked it. Scholar star, ah, I think they do this once a year. They choose someone, hang on. We present a wonderfully talented and dedicated artist to you as our Schooler star and provide them with a lifetime supply of Schooler boxes. Oh my God, imagine that. Oh, she must be, she must be made up over the last six years. I have a good read of that later. A, a huge kind of range of um, styles she's using there as well, isn't she? Look at this. It's just, yeah, it's so good. Well deserved. Well deserved. Good for her. Oh, how exciting that must be. Right. So let's have a look, better look at the challenge. It's time to plate up on the menu for this month. There are some ingredients you can use to whip up some culinary, culinary delights inspired by the whimsical illustration style of our featured artist. With a dash of pen here and a blend of pencil there, layer up and scroll away to see what you can serve up with your creativity. <laughs> Dish of the day. Hmm. Well, maybe this is a chance for me to start doing a daily, um, a daily sketch. 
of what I'm eating. Still can't decide. I really, sh I really should swatch on the paper that's been provided, but because now I'm going to swatch it. I'm going to swatch it on this that I happen to have on my desk. Because when I come to do my challenge, I should be using this anyway. So we'll see then if it will make much difference. I've started. I've just yesterday. I filmed it. It will become. It will be up tomorrow, I think. I've just started um, making paper. So now all of these things are going to go in a little bin by my side, <laughs> ready to tear up and make new paper with. It's my first lot of paper I made. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> anyway, that's for another video. Right. So let's just go. I'm just going to go on the back of this sheet here. I'm going to try this first. Yeah, so it's just, you know, bring you down a little bit more. It's just a ballpoint pen. It's a nice, smooth feeling one. I can get quite dense um, colour there if I want to. Quite a fine line if I want to. Bear in mind what the, the uh, featured artist said about playing like a child with these. So this is the oriental blue. Nice. I'm going quite lightly there. Goes on, goes on beautifully. It's lovely and soft. This is quite smooth. This side of the paper I've picked is quite smooth. The type of paper will make a difference, of course. And I can build that up quite, yeah, and get quite a dense coverage there as well. So if I... So I wanted to blend these two together. Oh, they do, they feel lovely and uh, kind of almost buttery feeling going on. Really nice. So say I wanted to blend those two together. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yeah, you really can. So then what happens with this? I suppose you have to then scribble this off till it comes clean again. If you don't want to contaminate your other colours. There we go, it's come clean now, so it didn't take too long. Um, so what if you just... So this is called Pale Peach, very pale. I actually hardly see that. <laughs> it is there, but it really is very, very pale. I don't know how useful that's going to be. It's almost too pale. I wonder if it would be, yeah, it would be more useful as almost a, almost a burnisher over other colours. As you can see, my swatches are never pretty swatches. I just tend to forget. I'm, I don't, I'm not methodical. I tend to just start playing with them. So say I wanted not to blend I just wanted to smooth this colour out can I use the blender to do that yeah you can I wonder if it's like gam I've got Gamsol which I've used with colour pencils I wonder if it's like that yeah so that just kind of smooths out the colour so it might be interesting to use to get different textures, even if I'm not blending. Another very light one, this light grey, silver grey that's called, and then the other one's called gum metal, wasn't it? I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the thing I, um, I've read about the um, using this kind of thing. You can see I was using it for my graphite last month. Let's give myself a clean sheet of this. So you can use that or, um, or do it with, carefully with a craft knife um, and just get some powder. Let's do it with, uh, let's do it with the blue. You can see it like, <laughs> it's quite good if you want to just get a really fine point on the pencil as well. You can do that to, to produce some powder and then you can kind of rub that in and you can also use that to so i've got some of that blue and i now wanted it smooth and um you can do that by kind of really going over and over and over it 
quite hard to to sort of but that flattens out the grain and you lose a bit of detail but if you want all these little where you get the little bits of white paper showing through there's also there's things like burnishing pencils and things like that you can use but it, it flattens all the grain and it loses tiny if you put tiny detail in it loses it whereas if you use some of this powder instead this is supposed to help you to lose it because it goes into those little white spaces lose little white spaces without losing the detail so yeah so i might have a go with that as well oh it's a lovely um cloudy sky and it's interesting there look that that where i put that peach down that didn't show very much but it's working almost like a resist to the graphite powder isn't it so that's another thing to be uh, fun to play with i think i'm going to really enjoy these is there a color that i haven't tried yet i've tried the red the blue the what was that called violet light violet pale peach gum metal and silver gray well, I think that is going to be a really, really fun box. I'm going to really enjoy that. I think it'd be a good one, a good opportunity, but this lovely Constantina sketchbook, it would be a good opportunity to start trying to keep that daily journal I've been uh, toying with, with doing. I mean, it's not going to do, I don't know how many sheets was it? I count each, if I count that as one page, one, but then of course you can also use the other side, can't you? It's two thicknesses kind of glued together so they're very, it's very sturdy so yeah it wouldn't last forever but I could do like a you know say a month I could do a month in here <laughs> and then get myself a longer one if, if it was it was a really good opportunity to try that okay um, I'm going to stop going on now there was just one more thing I wanted to mention before I go I will be back and I'll mull that over for a couple of days and I'll be back with my first challenge piece uh, so keep an eye out for that if you like this kind of thing um let me know what you think of the box drop drop me a comment let me know what you think you, um have you had this box is it your first one are you still waiting <laughs> do you think you're going to enjoy this box i think it's another cracker i really do and uh it's always a happy day when my scroller box arrives so before i go um i just wanted to mention that uh, this saturday coming which will be the 4th of february saturday the 4th of february at 8 p.m uk time i'm going to be doing a live stream here on youtube after we did the live stream of the arty farty party a lot of people said they'd like to do it more and um, maybe have a project we can all be kind of doing together or, or something it won't be uh, as busy and manic and hectic <laughs> that was a lot of fun but it was whoa <laughs> it was manic um so it'll just be a quiet i'm going to call it saturday night in <laughs> it'll just be a quiet live stream I'm going, to, I'm going to try and do it the first saturday of every month and the reason i've chosen 8 p.m uk time is that it'll be kind of reasonable daytime for people in the states and it will be early in the morning but not ridiculous for people in australia and new zealand i think last time for the arty farty party um paula joined in from new zealand it was three o'clock in the morning for her bless her and she stayed through till five o'clock but um this will be much better timing for her i want to each time i'll do something different i want to alternate between arty things and crafty things because I kind of do both and, and and a bit of slow stitching so this time I'm going to be doing something arty and I've got a special thing in mind if you're a regular viewer you may remember that I got a lovely little parcel from Dawn who lives in Belize hello Dawn and it was these I need to go back to the desk it was these little watercolour paints that she makes herself and apparently she makes them with honey using honey organic honey from Belize so I got, she, get, she sent me three colours. There's, this is Burnt Sienna, I believe. Yep, Burnt Sienna. Uh, gold, I think this is gold ochre. It's rubbed off a bit, but it looks like ochre to me. And it definitely says gold something. Gold ochre, golden ochre, maybe. And this one was, I think it was Prussian blue. It's all worn off the bottom now. I can see PB though. Yep, Prussian blue, which is one of my favourite colours. It's broken up a little bit but it'll still work fine so i i've decided what i fancy doing i'm gonna challenge myself to use just those three colors see what i can do with them i'm gonna do a face or maybe a couple of faces we'll see because the reason i say a couple is that i can work on one while the other one is drying a bit so it, sometimes it's nice to have two things going at once if you're doing a live so i'm going to also allow myself a black watercolor pencil an HB pencil and a rubber. And other than that, 
all I need is I've got some brushes got my watercolor brush set here I probably won't I don't normally use more than one or two brushes but one or two watercolor brushes and then a couple of pots like this with water in if you fancy joining me you don't have to do what I'm doing you can just sit and watch and chat with us if you like it was the chat was very uh, lively last time so that was a lot of fun it's always a nice it always feels more like you're kind of connecting with each other when it's when it's live so yeah you could just watch if you like or bring along something else you fancy doing whatever you're whatever you're up to I know not all my viewers are into arty things and not all my viewers are into stitching or other crafts so I'm going to alternate I think next time I'll probably do a bit of slow stitching and then I'll do something crafty the following one and then I'll go back to art again that's the plan and then whatever we're we're doing we can share it in the Facebook group uh, the next day which is again it was so lovely to see that after the live last time to see the Facebook group all full of colour was just so exciting for me so that's it yeah this Saturday 4th of February 8 p.m UK time I'm hoping that will suit kind of as many people as possible and even if that's already into Sunday morning for those of you in uh, New Zealand or Australia at least it's Sunday morning not Monday morning <laughs> And I know some people work on Sunday. I used to work on Sunday, but you know, I'm just doing the best I can to make it re as reasonable for everybody. Okay, so that's it for me now. I need to go blow my nose. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your well wishes, uh, everybody who sort of said get well soon. I really appreciate that. I'm sure you sent me good vibes because definitely getting over it now. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, have fun with your scroller box if you got one. I'll be back in a couple of days to, to play with this one. Really going now. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.